Leave your regular school supplies at home, take your favorite snacks to school, and turn your brushes into pretzel sticks and your pencils into popcorn so that you have something to write with. Watch a new video with fresh ideas of creative school supplies. The girls keep admiring Miss Elizabeth. Their affection grows deeper every day. They can't believe it. The teacher enjoys crunching salted crackers and putting her feet on the table. Holy moly! Miss Elizabeth needs a pencil sharpener right now. Well, let's see. What do we have here? Glasses. Who needs a pink flamingo? A slingshot? This is way too much. There is a lot here, but it's not what I need. The girls sneak in a creative pencil sharpener into a package of crackers in order to impress the teacher. Shape light orange clay into two identical circles. Cut out crackers with a cookie cutter. Make holes like the ones on real crackers using a toothpick. Cover a pencil sharpener of the appropriate size with the light clay crackers. Let it harden. Dolly hurries up to treat the teacher with her favorite snack. Miss Elizabeth takes a big cracker out of the package. This is a pencil sharpener. The teacher sharpens her pencils and gives the handy cracker back to the girls. Miss Elizabeth opens a fitness bar. Redhead also has one. She wants to amaze the teacher. So she tears the package apart and takes an eraser instead of a bar. Wrap a big eraser in a printed fitness bar package. Hot glue the package. Trim the edges. The girls manage to surprise their teacher. She's got no bar like this. The class is in full swing. Students are concentrating on their work. What have they got there? Aha! Nuts! Miss Elizabeth asks the girls for a snack. Yeah, you're welcome! And all of a sudden, the girls remember it's not nuts in the can. Open a can of peanuts. Take them out. Break round yellow chalk into small pieces. Scrape off the excess using a knife shaping the chalk into peanuts. Fill the can with the chalk. Dolly rushes to save the teacher. Oops, undershot. Her epic fall distracts the teacher from the snack. And meanwhile, Dolly shows that you can write with these nuts on a school board. The girls are playing with markers and pencils. Let's play Shadow Fight. I've got Lynx Claws, and the teacher has something more interesting. Popcorn. Want some? You're welcome. I've got a full box. Draw lines on red cardboard to get a popcorn box pattern. Make vertical lines. Two identical ones near the edges and one that is two times wider in between. Cut out triangles at the bottom. Leave one thin strip on one edge so that we can bend it later. Divide a piece of white cardboard into the same strips. Attach them onto the red cutout, making some gaps. Trim the top edge with craft scissors. Turn it over and fold it across the pencil lines with a ruler. Attach the edge. Cover the bottom with red cardboard. Make small cuts in a sponge. Put it on the bottom of the box. Shape cotton into popcorn. Mix orange paint in water and sprinkle it onto the cotton to make it look like popcorn. Cut out yellow and brown felt into pieces. Attach them to the popcorn for a more realistic look. Take a box of color pencils and attach one piece of popcorn to each pencil. Stick the pencils into the holes in the sponge. Attach a popcorn label to the box. Cunning Miss Elizabeth puts a whole box of popcorn onto the girl's desk. Let the feast start. But the girls get colored pencils from the box instead of a snack. Surprise! Well, it's not what we have expected, but it's also nice. 
We will play Popcorn Monsters then. The girls are waiting for the teacher. She's late. The class has already started, but she's still nowhere in sight. It's very unlike her. We need to find out what's happened. We were right. Miss Elizabeth is unable to get up off the couch. She feels really terrible. Her illness is well known and pretty widespread. She's allergic to school. Redhead and Dolly wake up their teacher quietly. Miss Elizabeth jumps off the couch with a scream. What are you doing here? The teacher fully wakes up, takes a pack of crackers, and opens a notebook. Cover two printed tuck labels with clear tape. Cut off the excess to fit the size of a notebook cover. And attach the labels to the cover. That's crazy! A package of crackers turns out to be a disguised notebook. Miss Elizabeth is checking her schedule while the girls are scrutinizing the snack cover. Still, she's a kind hostess, so she gives the girls real crackers. We should have a painting class now according to the schedule, so take your paints and paper. They still need brushes. Miss Elizabeth takes out pretzel sticks for some reason. Snack again? Nope. The teacher keeps surprising her students. She opens up the package and they find two brushes among the salted pretzel sticks. Make handles from light orange clay. Roll it into thin sticks. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the handle to the top of the brush. Coat the clay pretzel sticks with clear acrylic lacquer and sprinkle with salt. The snack brushes turn out to be real, so the girls use the salted sticks for painting. <laughs> the teacher has not completely recovered from her illness yet. She needs vitamins. Redhead offers her juicy apples and Dolly gives her a rainbow fruit skewer. Make holes that go all the way through in small foam plastic fruit pieces. Use a knife and an awl. Make a hole from one side in a bell pepper and a lemon. Thread the fruit one by one onto a marker pen. Attach the lemon and the pepper onto the ends of the marker. Make a tiny hole in the lemon using the awl. Cut off a piece of a wooden skewer and attach its blunt end into the hole. Take the stem out of the pepper and attach a piece of skewer instead. Miss Elizabeth scrutinizes the creative fruit snack. Then she decides to take some fruit off the skewer and oops, she opens a marker pen. This fruit wonder won't supply you with vitamins, but it will certainly make your day. What can I try my new marker pen on? The teacher takes something from behind her back. It's chips. Split yellow note stickers into a few piles. Draw an oval so that it looks like Pringles chips and cut it out. Take out all the stickers in a stack and bend it to shape like potato chips. Put the paper Pringles into an empty Pringles tube. The girls get very excited. They adore Pringles. What is it? Paper chips? These are stickers and now we will play a game of Who Am I? The teacher draws a crown on Redhead's sticker. What has she drawn? I wonder. Redhead has a few tries. And she guesses right. Bingo! She's the queen of the day. Did you like the new creative school supply ideas? Then write in your comments which snack you would like to sneak into class. Sticker chips, pencil popcorn, or a cracker sharpener. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new cool ideas of back to school pranks on the Troom Troom channel.